One, two, three. Uh, my name is Tatiana. Uh, I'm head of hosting group and uh, hope uh, those who visit our conference not the first time remember me and my colleague Pavel. He's a business analyst in uh, uh, Velon Data Center Group. And we are going to deep you into the world of uh, Velon and to answer the questions why we make this or that decision and uh, how our new applications appear. And uh, what is our aim? Our aim is to make our products awesome. Tatiana, what do you mean by awesome product? Is it something that everyone recognizes or something that never gets buggy or breaks? I think both are true, but only from one side. And the following topics will describe what we mean uh, when uh, under the awesome product while working. Uh, and the first point uh, will be uh, our flexibility. What do we mean under, uh, under this flexibility? Where do you see our flexibility? Yes, everywhere. Uh, you can buy any device and more than likely you could connect it to Vialon as uh, 1700 devices is not a joke. Uh, you can run Vialon on any platform from the phone in your pocket uh, to the TV on your kitchen. If you have a question what to choose several cloud solution, you can choose the one you want or the government agency suggests. Uh, and uh, if you have a very important client who need a special solution that cover his processes, you have an open API uh, for custom development integrations with third-party systems. Open API provides almost unlimited possibilities uh, to cover your problems. Uh, also, Vialon is flexibly configured. But to be honest, I should remind a flip side of the flexibility, the complexity. Since you've started working with Vialon, I bet you've learned the difference between the letters FTP, SMTP, how to convert CSV file to Excel, uh, how to, I don't know, more and more, more many other things. And uh, in the system, we have more than uh, 700 checkboxes and 400 selections for settings. Remember your first impression when you see it. And it's not easy to figure out, we understand it. The next part is niche solutions. Right, we have one system where you can do almost everything. But sometimes there is a need to solve specialized tasks that are essentially simple, but require a special approach. And of course, it's impossible to set out all such tasks in one system. That is why we started developing niche solutions. This approach allows you to add and scale new entities and display information in a much more convenient way. For example, in Vialon, of course, you can build a route and control it. But if your project lies in the sphere of passenger transportation, then using Nimbus, you can do everything the same, but easier and get information in a much more convenient way. Also, the functionality of the niche solution grants you more possibilities. For example, it will execute a report on group of routes or will integrate with display board for passengers. Also, some of our applications, for example, FleetRun, give users the ability to perform actions that somehow affect everyone. And we are surprised that only 1% of our users are actively using it. It is ready to work with fleet maintenance and uh, it is worth trying to implement it to optimize your businesses. As you can see, we're actively developing this area. This spring, another uh, new niche solution was released, Hectera. This app is aimed at optimizing the work of agribusinesses. We are constantly looking for new ideas and tasks that uh, cannot be solved effectively using only VLON. But also, we are constantly develop and support already released applications 
Uh, so regular updates bring users more and more useful features. So, and now let's talk about studying. As we mentioned before, uh, our system is very flexible and uh, complex. Uh, that is why to work effectively, you need uh, to uh, study it first. So you know that we have a training team that help our new users uh, to get closer with the product and also help our most more experienced users to uh, solve more advanced tasks. Also, we organize webinars and uh, there you can get uh, some new information and ask uh, questions. Uh, but uh, your studying is not the final step in uh, this process as we have uh, those people who work in fields, they are our customers, and we're responsible for those whom we are connect, uh, so they also need uh, required trainings. Uh, the better they know the system, uh, the faster and easier they solve their daily tasks. Uh, so uh, don't forget about them and also about your old customers. From time to time, we uh, release some new applications, some new features, and keep, with, keep in touch with them and uh, share with them our new, uh, new solutions. Uh, many studies show uh, that uh, if uh, the person uh, uses a particular program often, uh, then the less likely he will refuse using it. And uh, here are some statistics of uh, Vialon. We have around uh, 350,000 uh, users, and about 20% of them have not logged in in the system for six months and more. It's normal if a uh, dispatch, dispatcher just quit and another came to uh, replace him, uh, but uh, in general, it is a common situation if a user didn't log in in the system for such a long period. Uh, to compare, we have about 30% of users that log in to the system at least one time per day. So, what of those, these uh, two categories of users is there to lose? The answer is obvious, I think. Uh, so, also we are working uh, on simplifying the process of setup and uh, about two years ago we added uh, an eco-driving templates. Just on one click you can set uh, a criteria uh, for the vehicle and uh, according to feedback uh, the setup uh, the data you get uh, in reports is quite reliable even without any adjustments and uh, one more statistics uh, that uh, we have 25 percent of all devices installed in cars in our system that can send accurate eco driving parameters at the same time only 18% that have set it, the criteria in their cars, in their units. So, the answer. Why uh, not to use the feature if it is easy to config, especially uh, if your device is focused on this function? Mm, it shows that many businesses uh, lose their profit uh, and if you have a device, that is uh, focused on the function and the software that could work with this function, then just use it. Um, and a little look on these three screenshots. Uh, I imagine that I'm a client and I should choose between them. And uh, first thing my, uh, that I would choose by style. But um, then I may think a little and choose the cheapest one. Um, well, maybe with better icons, I don't know. Uh, what I would want to say. I want to say that without clients' involvement and deep integrations, long relations cannot be built. Uh, what should be the reason for me to stay? If someone uh, understand my business, uh, tried to find bottlenecks and to optimize my processes, I would like it. And Vialon is a tool, is a proper tool for this. So we want you to uh, create such an atmosphere for your clients uh, that uh, they won't uh, choose another cheaper solution just because Vialon is better 
cut out for their businesses. The next part is scalable server structure. About three years ago, we faced the problem of server scaling. And we understand that without redesigning the architecture, we can no longer support the growth of our partners. So over the three mentioned years, our server structure changed from this one into this one. So here is uh, what and why was changed. Web servers, uh, the servers that handle all user requests and databases, which store all messages from the units, are connected into groups now. But why we did this? This structure allowed us to reduce the influence of users on others due to the fact that, as you can see, there is no direct connection between the groups. So if a client runs an extremely huge report or forget to set a limitation on a task or notification that lasts every minute, then it will happen uh, that other, us uh, other users can suffer, but only users within the group, not all clients as it was before. Also, this allows us to expand faster to let new customers in. So now we are ready to take in more than 1 million units due to the fact that adding new capacities and servers for data storage is no longer an issue. Additional gateways. As you know, a couple of weeks ago, right before the conference, a number of DDoS attacks uh, took place on VLON hosting. We immediately began to strengthen our defense mechanism to ensure more stable work of our users. So what we do is split the entry points to the hundreds of parts, so mm, we, each of which works independently. So during the one of the latest attacks, which lasted about 50 minutes, we had only one call from our customer who had problems with the system. Services for balancing. These services allowed us to distribute the, lo the load among all servers equally and make the update process more invisible to the user. This allowed us to take a huge step in simplifying the process of releasing updates that you receive to every two weeks. So three years ago, for each update, we restarted the servers one by one, as a result of which users were logged out. So the user session was broken. After that, when the already mentioned balancing mechanisms were introduced, we used it to prevent users from logging into the servers that were about to update. However, it took a long preparation time before each update, a couple of days. So now, thanks to the new mechanism of transferring user sessions between the servers, it takes only a couple of hours to update, and everything happens smoothly and without interruptions for our users. So now our users keep session alive for a long time. The longest one that uh, I saw was around 70 days. A bit more, and you can travel around the whole world with one VLAN session alive. New data centers. We strive to develop not only one data center, but to grow in other points so clients from different parts of the world could work more effectively with VLON and also solve the problem of data storage inside the country. Now we have two new data centers already open and working in the USA and Russia. By its structure, they're similar to the data center in the Netherlands, but they're much younger and much smaller for now. And all new clients are already starting up there. So over the past three years, the number of units grows almost in three times. And thanks to ongoing optimizations, the number of servers only doubled. Here is how the difference between 2016 and 2019 looks on the map. Yes, the difference is impressive. And uh, now let's talk about new technologies. And uh, first I want to, to say that not far along that uh, a new division, uh, which is called research and development, uh, 
was created in Gurtam and two teams, Lespi and Space Asia. And they are our internal sources of new technologies. Uh, there is certain uh, technology as MQTT. It is uh, an open data transfer protocol uh, that is getting more and more popular. Uh, it is known for its uh, easy ease of use, low load in communication servers, and uh, it is focused on the transmission of telemetric data. Uh, but uh, MQTT is a not a uh, development of Lespi. As a matter of Lespi, that they were first who created an MQTT broker, a server uh, that supposed the latest version of MQTT protocol 5.0. Uh, uh, so that means that those who use MQ MQTT uh, may use uh, Flaspy Broker as a server that could uh, that can uh, receive and transmit data. And uh, today, uh, MQTT is used uh, in many places in Gurtam. Uh, for example, Nimbasam Fritran uh, uses MQTT protocol for uh, transferring data from Vialon. Uh, we are not. Uh, only consumers, but also actively participate uh, in development and popularization of this technology. And the labs team uh, created a GMQTT library that and made uh, publicity available on uh, GitHub. Uh, this is an asynchronous MQTT client for Python uh, that supports the latest version. Uh, so uh, we are not. Uh, only, we do not use only internal technologies, but also follow global trends. And uh, as you know, uh, new versions uh, of mobile applications, applications for Android and iOS uh, is preparing for release. You could already try the beta version. Uh, in the previous old version, we had some issues with adding new features. So the new uh, the new applications will be based on the principles of clean architecture. Uh, clean architecture is a way to develop uh, where the main principles are framework independence, independence of business logic from the interface, and in independence of modules from each other. Uh, this allows uh, to add new functionality easily and support uh, the old ones. And uh, uh, the most required functions, such as uh, reports in mobile uh, was added to the applications thanks to this uh, uh, architecture. And uh, we also uh, use, use, used uh, for the development of these new applications uh, the most popular languages, Swift and Kotlin. They are used in Google and Apple companies as well. And my colleague Alek Proshin will tell you more about mobile apps uh, the results and uh, plans in his presentation tomorrow. Uh, and Vialon also couldn't stand aside. You have already heard about the changes on the server side, and interface is also changing. All these years, our programmers uh, have been written code in pure JavaScript, uh, but there are many frameworks uh, that make uh, development easier and uh, developers happier. And all our niche solutions, new products, space actively use these frameworks. It was uh, scary for us uh, to implement new technology into the old product, but we managed and uh, hope uh, this should help us to develop uh, faster and implement new features easier. Restrictions that work for result. As you understand, we cannot allocate a single server for each partner, so the influence of users on others is going to happen. We constantly monitor the status of our service, and sometimes we see a typical burst of activity, which led to a significant decrease in performance for other users. When we see this, we try to find the source of the problem and take measures to, uh, measures to prevent it from happening in the future. So this is how most of our limitations in the system appear. For example, one of our partners once executed, started to execute thousands of reports using hundreds of sessions, using some scripts or something like that. And the, this, this 
take effect on other users within his server. This situation has shown us that we have to limit the amount of executed report in one account in some period of time. So are the limit, limits created uh, almost in the same way? Uh, for example, the number of active sessions of one user, report execution time, and a limit for a simultaneously processed request, and so on. So each of those limits are here to protect the right of each of you to work with a fast and stable system. One of the latest restrictions that shocked the community was the prohibition on creating units in top account. We did this to prevent new partners from making mistakes in building, while building their accounts. So here is two pictures. This is the structure of two different accounts. In size, they are similar, about one and a half thousands each, but managing these two accounts is very different. After all, a good structure, a good and a beautiful structure, is the simplicity of management and control. It is the ability to scale and add new clients more easy, and its reduction of possible errors during work, uh, for example, when distributing access rights. So, in the end, I emphasize once again that if you plan to grow and develop your business, go to a beautiful structure, because fixing is much, much harder than building from the beginning. But sure, not all of our limitations are only to help you. Sure, there are also pure technical limitations. For example, the number of units in one VLON local. During the last year, we held a lot of optimizations, and right now you can deploy 20,000 of units on the same server on which you could deploy under 10,000 units earlier. So, yes, purely technical limitations are also here in the products, in VLON products, but we do everything possible to expand them, to make your work with VLON easier and more comfortable. So, uh, our processes focused on your interest. I've mentioned before twice that our system is very flexible, and uh, this is achieved by a large number of settings and, sel uh, and uh, selections and features. Uh, previously, the pass from uh, the, the feature request to the development was quite short. We got a feature request. If it was approved, it went to the development team. The developers uh, edit details by themselves or by uh, tester requests. Uh, this, uh, from the one hand, uh, this makes uh, the way uh, of the development fast, but from the other hand, uh, we got some settings that are not useful and some features that are not convenient. So, uh, all the time we uh, trying to make our processes better, to improve our processes, so uh, we assigned an analyst and in every product, in every comment, for every uh, for every product. So about two years, our analysts uh, carefully uh, collecting, uh, collecting your feature requests, uh, feedback, statistics, structuring all the data and making conclusions. Uh, that is why for every your post and forum, feature request on forum, get the same questions. Why, what and for whom? The thing is that, that um, finally we want uh, to get the high quality product that solves most of your uh, questions. So also, mm, sometimes uh, some of you may find some uh, bugs and report them to us. Uh, probably you got the answer like, we've sent your request to development team, please wait. And we understand that uh, sometimes this, this may sound like, a development team may sound like a black box where your requests just disappear. Um, about uh, six months ago, uh, we moved towards greater clarity regarding what happens to your requests in the development team, and we uh, uh, a new role, uh, product experts, appear in each department, and uh, when he uh, get your requests, he became responsible uh, to, to accompany your requests, and as he 
participate in the whole development process. Uh, he can uh, fully inform you about the status of your request, uh, about the problems that may uh, that may uh, appear, uh, and we hope uh, that you noticed it and um, the communication with us becomes more pleasant on not such and not always pleasant things. Self-service. About five years ago, the first steps towards self-service in VLON was taken. Adding SMS package or units package become possible in CMS. Automation is a major issue in our world and we do not step aside and create a special resource, my.gutam.com. It is designed to reduce the amount of personal communications on routine issues. So here you can request an invoice, see the balance and payment history, download your marketing materials and request a personal design. So as a result, you depend less on our workload, our time zone, and you can close tasks even if we are on weekends. As uh, when we get uh, the um, customer, the end customer contact us, then we use this tool to transfer customers to you. And to, in, to increase um, their um, relationship uh, with your clients, we added a basic CRM functionality to the system. So here you can lead your own potential clients and requests forwarded by Gutam, register all your end dealers, transfer them to the current status, and log all the data. Also, we're actively working on some kind of Gutam knowledge base, where you and your customers can find an answer to almost any question regarding VLON-related products, from billing to setting up the reports. So I hope we were, we were good at describing why our products are awesome. And you now better understand who we are and what we do. So let's sum up a bit our presentation. Our products are not only growing in units, but also actively developing, just like our teams develop with them. We know that you're all different, with different kinds, specifics, uh, life circumstances, and we make our products so you can, uh, you can uh, integrate them almost to any processes and close almost any task with their help. You're our hands in promoting VLON-related products in the world, and we want to look in the same direction with you. Just as we ask you lots of questions about your projects, processes, other merits, so you can ask us too. We will try to answer as openly as possible, so you trust us too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's give another round of applause to the guys.